Hello, my YouTube friend. I'm excited. I'm back with another Mega Epic Funko Pop haul. This is the first set of purchases I've made in a long time. My shop is probably opening up again in a couple weeks. So I decided to start buying again. I haven't been buying since the winter. So uh, this is kind of exciting. So I have one collection of stuff I bought from Tolly. He sold to me a bunch of times and he wanted to know if I was ready to buy yet. And I said, yeah, let's do it. We did a curbside drop off where he came and he gave me the boxes at my shop and you know i went through them and i paid him through paypal and then uh i have three boxes that are shipped to me by my patron ike he just said he needed to clear out a bunch of his pops make a little room and so this is exciting i'm gonna have a lot of fun going through this stuff all right let's just start digging in let's open up box number one from ike now ike sent me a list of, of pops that they have to sell and um I sort of looked at it a little bit. I saw a lot of interesting stuff, but I didn't look very carefully because I wanted to be a little bit surprised. I told him kind of what I'm paying for Pops right now. He was okay with that. I kind of missed buying collections. I've been like holding back. I had a lot of stuff backed up. I think I have one more video of the film of the older stuff, but I want to get through these packages because I want to get them paid right away. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, it looks like he individually packaged each pop in bubble wrap okay that's cool it looks pretty safe hopefully nothing got damaged but if you see in there it looks pretty protected all right let's see what we got all right this is gonna take a little while to get to <laughs> okay from star wars we have fn2199 pretty sure i have that one i think a lot of these i probably have already it take a while. So Star Wars, you know what? For a while there, Star Wars pops kind of had died in popularity and prices were kind of going down. But the Mandalorian was so good that those pops sold really well. And I think they kind of brought the value of all Star Wars pops up. There's a lot of Star Wars, so like the Clone Wars pops, I hadn't realized those had gone to like $30 to $50 each. Okay, we have a General Leia. That is cool. I don't think I have that one, actually. I know there's a couple I'm missing from the newer sets. This one, I'm going to have to double check. Okay, cool. Okay, let me uh, cut off the bubble wrap on all these because this can take me an hour to get through all of them. <laughs> all right, took off the bubble wrap on a couple of them. Okay, we have a C-3PO from The Force Awakens. That one, I believe I have already. We have uh, Silver Surfer, the newer one from The Fantastic Four. I'm actually really excited to get this because I don't have this one yet. I actually need most from this set. So that's super exciting, keeping that one. Okay, and then we have a Captain Phasma from The Force Awakens, I believe. Yeah, that one I'm pretty sure I have already. Take some more bubble wrap off. Okay, we have the original Darth Vader. This pop is always easy to sell. I have it already, but it sells really quick in my shop. People love the classic characters. Okay, we have a Dragon Ball Z pop. Yeah, actually, these arrived in pretty nice shape. I think the bubble wrap really helped. And he didn't pack it too tight. He left a little bit of room in there. Okay, so I don't think I have this one. I think that one's going into my collection. That's cool. Oh, okay, we had the Icy Bear. I think I missed this one. Oh, this one I can smell. This one's scented. It's got like a... Uh, I can't tell what that smell is. I guess it's supposed to be grape. I'm not quite sure, but this is cool. It's a Hot Topic exclusive Icy Bear. It's scented. I love it. I don't have this one. Awesome. Okay, cool. I like that I'm getting a few that I needed. I haven't really been buying a lot of pops from the last six months. So it'll be fun if I start buying collections and start catching up a little bit. I'll be thrilled about that. Okay, we have the Nappa from Dragon Ball Z. This one, I think I have. I'm going to double check this one. Okay. Oh, cool. This one I don't have. Oh, this is the one I actually really wanted. This just... Reminds me of my childhood. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this one's really cool. So we had the MTV Moon Person. You know, it's the classic icon. This would be, I don't know if the music awards or it just, they would use this icon all the time back in the 80s. That is awesome. Really happy with that. Okay, sweet. Ah, okay, we have uh, Keith Haring. This one is a cool pop. Okay, he is cool. I would love to see a lot more artists turned into pops like this. Now, I have the regular New York Con sticker. I don't think I have the shared sticker, so I might actually keep this as a sticker variant. Awesome. Okay, we have a Black Manta. Cool villain. It's the comic book version, not the movie version. 
Okay, so we have the Black Manta, the original comic version. This one I do have though, so he'll be for sale. I'll still be putting stuff on Makari, but I'm not sure how much. I might be putting a little bit less on Makari. I still have to kind of figure out what the flow is going to be. Once I'm open again, I have to see how many pops are selling in the shop. If it's very slow in the shop, then we'll probably be putting a ton of them on Makari. And a lot go into my patrons mystery boxes. That's kind of every patron that signs up, they give me their pop price guide list. So I keep an eye on their want list. And as things come in that I know that they want, I put them into their boxes. Okay. Oh yeah. I'm really excited for this. I don't have this one yet. We have the thing from the Fantastic Four. Absolutely love the thing. This is a cool pop. Going into my collection. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, okay. We have more from the Fantastic Four set. Okay. Sweet. This is exciting. This means I'll probably have a good chunk of the collection. Okay, we have the Human Torch from the Fantastic Four. This one is definitely going into my collection. Awesome. Really happy to get that. Uh, I hope he has most of the set. I would love to put that set together. Uh, okay, and it looks like we have the Common Chester Cheetah. Okay, so this one I definitely have. I think I actually still have a case from my store. So this one definitely goes for sale. Okay, cool. Box one was pretty awesome. No grails or anything, but definitely a lot of newer stuff that I want for my own collection. So I'm actually thrilled with that. All right, let's open up box number two for Mike. This looks like a bigger box, so there's probably more pops in here. Okay. Oh yeah, this looks lots of bubble wrap. Everything's individually wrapped again. It looks like it arrived in great shape. Ah, uh, okay, we're gonna start with this one. I don't remember if I ended up getting this one. I think I might have this one. Not 100% sure, but I'm sure this is the one people will want if I put them out for sale. Oh yeah, he's neat. So we have the Back to the Future 3 Marty McFly where he's in the cowboy suit. That is really neat. I love that they're doing more Back to the Future pops. It's very cool. Next. Uh, okay, I think I have this one. Okay, we have Mr. Prickle Pants from Toy Story. It's a 2019 San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have this one already, so I think that one will be for sale. Very cool though. Love the Toy Story franchise. Uh, okay, more Star Wars. Star Wars is good. Okay, we have a Last Jedi Luke Skywalker. Pretty sure I have this one already. This one I'm going to have to double check. I don't remember. I can't remember. There might be a few I'm missing from this set. Let's see. Okay, this is like a Han Solo. I don't remember if I have this one. I know I have most from the Solo set. But I don't think I have the Walgreens exclusive. So we have the Walgreens exclusive Han Solo from the Solo movie. I actually think I need that one. Okay, we got more Star Wars. Star Wars is good. For a while there, I didn't really want to buy Star Wars. But I'm pretty much sold out of Star Wars right now. So time to stock up. Okay, so we have the Star Wars Galactic Convention exclusive Watto. That is cool. The prequel trilogy is now getting old enough that a lot of kids that grew up with this already on like the 20s, 30s. So uh, definitely, I think there's a lot more demand for this era of stuff. Very cool. Okay, we've got a uh, Claptrap. Okay, so this is a Distressed Claptrap from Borderlands 3. I actually don't think I have this one. I have a lot of the Claptraps, but I think this is one I'm actually missing. Okay, cool. Very cool. I like getting a good mix of stuff that's good stuff that will sell so I can kind of break even, cover my expenses. You know, if like a third of the collection I need, it usually means that I can make a little teeny bit of profit, cover the expenses, and add to my collection. So that's awesome. Okay, we have a first order flame trooper. Definitely have that one, so that won't be for sale. Uh, okay, what we have here? We have a SSGS Goku from Dragon Ball Super. Okay, definitely have that one. So that won't be for sale. Uh, oh, okay, I don't think I have this one yet, actually. Cool looking pop. So we have the Sith Jet Trooper from the last Star Wars movie. That one's really neat. So this one's going into my collection. Okay. Oh, we have, uh, I think it's a Gamer's Miles Morales. I don't remember if I got this one. No, I think I have this one. I need the Chase, but not the Common. Yeah, he's cool. So we have the Gamer Miles Morales. It's a GameStop exclusive. I think I'm selling that one, but I'm going to have to double check that. Okay, next, uh, looks like the Coca-Cola Bear. I think I still have a bunch of these as well. I'm just came out and ordered a case or two for the shop. Yeah, love this pop though. Very cool pop. 
uh, but I do have them already and I have a bunch for sale, so it'll be another one for sale. Okay, we have another Dragon Ball Z pop. Okay, we have a regular Vegeta. I think I have this one. That one I'm gonna have to double check. They make so many pops of the Dragon Ball Z characters that sometimes they blend together a little bit. Uh, oh, okay, this is a cool six inch one. So we have a six inch Aldoon from Skyrim. This one I do have, so he'll be for sale. Very cool pop though, I love this one. Okay, one more in this box. Uh, okay, we have one of the Game of Thrones throne pops. <laughs> they went overboard with these. Pretty sure I have all of them though. Okay, so we have uh, Cersei Lannister. It's one of the throne pops. I mean, they look really cool. I do love the way they look, but they went a little overboard with these. But the thing is, they went overboard, so they're cheap. So if you want them, they're like $10 now. So you, even just to get the throne, it's kind of worth it. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty sure that one will be for sale, though. Okay, so that was box number two. Pretty happy with that. All right, uh, let's see. Box number three is under totally stuff, so I'm going to shuffle that a little bit. Told this collection is full of bolted pops and more exciting stuff, but I'm gonna leave that until I go through Ike's stuff. Okay, so let me move this. Okay, so box number three from Ike. Let's open this up. Uh, I'm hoping there's more of the Fantastic Four in this box. I forget what else he had. This is, says, oh, he has a little note in here. It says, turn me over. Okay, so yeah, I had a little list of the ones that were damaged. Honestly, because he's my patron, I'm probably not going to ding him too much for the damaged ones. Okay, let's see what else we got in here. All right, we got... Ooh, this one I don't have. Oh, sweet. Ah, okay, this one is cool. Oh, this might be the better stuff in here. Okay, I'm excited. Okay, we have the Flock Smoky Bear. It's a Hot Topic exclusive. That's actually one I really wanted. So this one's going in my collection. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is an Emperor Palpatine. Okay. Cool pop. I'm pretty sure I have this one already. So that one will be for sale. We have... Oh, okay. Oh, wait. No, I think I have this one already. It's another Fantastic Four one, but I think this is one of the ones I actually had. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the one I had. So it's the Invisible Girl. It's a GameStop exclusive, but it's the one where she's half translucent. Very cool pop. Love it. Yeah, what do we have? Oh, uh, Master Roshi. <laughs> this one I've had so many times. So it's FYE exclusive Master Roshi with peace sign. This one looks like it got a big dent right there. So that's going to affect its value a little bit. He's cool though. I do have that one already. I... Honestly, if it's one I have already, it doesn't bother me as much if it's damaged because I'm not keeping it. It just means that when I sell it, I'm going to have to sell it cheaper. Now, if I wanted to keep it, I'd be like, oh, man. I'd be a little bit more upset because I'd want one that's not damaged. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, okay, cool. Love the Witcher. I actually don't know if I have this one. I know I have the original set, but I don't know. I think this is a later release of it. We have Geralt Igni version. It's a glow-in-the-dark GameStop exclusive from The Witcher. I don't think I actually have this one. Okay, that is cool. That one might have some value. After the series came out, The Witcher pops kind of went up in value. What year did this come out? 2019? Maybe. This might be a newer one, so this one might not be as much. Either way, happy to have it. Okay, we have... Uh... Oh, okay. I don't know if I have this one. Another one I needed. Okay, sweet. Okay, we have the Knight of Ren with Long Axe from the Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty Box. That one I actually don't have. Okay, very sweet. I actually don't have a lot from the Rise of Skywalker movie, so I, it's actually kind of nice to get a few of them. Because I only have like one or two from the set. Okay, what do we have? Oh, oh okay. More ad icons. We have the Pillsbury Doughboy, the original one. All right, so that's cool. We have the original Pillsbury Doughboy. It's a Funko Shop exclusive. That is cool. I do have that one already, though. A lot of the ad icons, I already have a list of people who want them. Uh, oh, this is cool. Not a very valuable pop, but one I really like. So it's a Walgreens exclusive medical droid from Star Wars. Absolutely love this pop. Very cool. I do have that one already, though. Uh, oh, sweet. Another Fantastic Four pop. I'm actually really excited to get this. 
All right, awesome. We have the Mole Man. A little bit damaged on the box, but that's okay. I'm just happy to have him. Awesome. Going into the collection. All right. Oh, okay. This one's cool. Okay, we had the Flocked Bullseye. It's a Target exclusive. This one I, I have already, so I'll be selling it, but I think I already know who wants it. Uh, okay, what we got here? Uh, okay, this one's interesting looking. Okay, from Dragon Ball Z, we had the Vegeta Training. I've never seen this pop before. That is weird. Oh, it always blows my mind when I see a pop for the first time, because I feel like I've seen everything. And it came out last September, so I don't remember this one. Very cool looking pop though, going into the collection. Okay, let's see what we got here. Ooh, okay, more ad icons. These are always popular. Okay, cool, we have the Flocked Energizer Bunny. The Funko Shop exclusive. Very cool pop. Love Flock Pops, they're some of my favorites. Uh, okay, this looks like it's another Rise of the Skywalker. Yeah, I don't think I have this one either. Okay, so we have, no, actually I do have this one. So we have the Supreme Leader, Kylo Ren. So this one I will be selling. Cool, I think he's one of the few that I actually had already. Okay, let's see what we got. Got the, ooh, okay. This is a cool horror pop. From Hellraiser 3, we have the Chatterer. It's a Walmart exclusive. Very creepy pop. I think I have this one already though, so that won't be for sale. Uh, oh, this one's cool. Okay, so it's a 2018 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Cad Bane from Star Wars. This one I do have already, though, so that will be for sale. Cool pop, though. I'm sure someone will want them. Now, sometimes I get pops, I'm like, ah, oh, that one's going to sit around in my shop for the longest time. And then sometimes I'm like, no, that one's going to sell pretty quick. Uh, ooh, okay, we have a Groot. Oh, I don't have this one. Okay, sweet. I love Groot. I think I have... Pretty much every group pop except for this one. This is a GameStop exclusive from last year's Black Friday box. It's the Gamer Group. Very cool pop. That one's going to my collection. I don't have a lot. I think I have two or three from this. I didn't really go on my way to get the boxes this year. So I'm happy to start picking them up in collections. Time to complete that set. <laughs> uh, oh, this one is cool. So another one from the Fantastic Four set. We have Doctor Doom, which I don't have yet. Really happy to get that one. Awesome. I have two of the three original ones, but I really wanted this new one. What we got here? Oh, we got Yoda. Yoda, again, is another pop that sells really easily. Can you give me any classic Star Wars pops? Like Boba Fett, Yoda, Chewbacca, they always sell. Cool. So I definitely have this one already, so that one will be for sale. I don't know if this one has value yet. Some of these pops are starting to gain value a little bit. Like the, I know the original blue box one is worth something, but I think the reissues are starting to get worth a little bit. Very cool. Uh, okay, we have more Star Wars. Okay, so we have a Praetorian Guard. It's a Walgreens exclusive. This one I do have, so that won't be for sale. That's one of the ones where I'm like, eh, maybe, not sure how well they're gonna sell. Uh, okay, some more Star Wars. Okay, we have a First Order Snow Trooper. Definitely have this one as well, but I'm sure someone will pick that up. People love all the Storm Troopers, Snow Troopers, all that kind of stuff. Okay, we have another Kylo Ren. I think this is, yeah, this is the original Kylo Ren. He's cool. I do have that one already though, so that one will be for sale. Very cool. Getting down to the last handful. Uh, oh, okay, we have another ad icon. Awesome. We have the Funko Shop exclusive Colonel Sanders. Love this pop. I do have this one already, but I think I know someone who wants that. Cool. Oh, this one I don't think I have. We have a GameStop exclusive Knight of Ren blaster rifle version. This is from the last Star Wars movie. This one I don't have already. So that one's going to the collection. Cool. I love it when I can buy a collection and kind of catch up on some of the newish stuff. I mean, it's not new new because it's, what, six months old now? But for me, it feels new because, you know, I haven't really bought much in the last six months. Uh, oh, okay. We have a Charmander. Oh, this is neat. This is the flocked one. I don't have this one. Definitely newer. So from the ECC Comic Con this year, so the online Comic Con, we have the Flock Charmander from Pokemon. This is awesome. That's going into my collection. Thank you. Love it. I'm actually really excited to get that. Uh, more Star Wars. Okay. 
Okay, we have a first order stormtrooper. This one I definitely have, so that'll be for sale. Cool pop though. Although the back's a bit dinged up, so that's gonna knock the value down a little bit. But that's okay. A lot of people are happy to buy these just to build up armies. So that will sell. I just have to sell it at a discount. Uh, okay, just a couple left. We have, oh, Conan O'Brien. This one is going to be hard to sell. <laughs> no one really wants these. It was kind of a cool concept, but I think they made too many of them or something. I have no idea. Every time I get them, though, they stick around. I probably have a couple of each. So we had the superhero Conan O'Brien. Out of this set, people like the ones with him in the suit, but like the superhero ones, just not as popular. Will be for sale, though, if you want it. Uh, okay, and the very last pop is... Ooh, Michael Myers. Okay. Love Halloween. Halloween's one of my all-time favorite horror movies. Okay, so this is the new Halloween. This is H2O Halloween. It's a Hot Topic exclusive. Very cool. That one I don't have. So that's going to the collection. Sweet. Okay, so that's everything Ike sent me to buy. Thanks for selling me your collection. I appreciate it. I, uh, I'm actually really excited that there's a lot of things I need for my collection, so this is fun. Okay, let's get into Tolly stuff. Okay, so Tolly stuff is going to be a little bit more exciting to me in the sense that it's a lot more bolted stuff or rare stuff. But I, Ike stuff was exciting to me too because there's a lot of newer stuff and I haven't really collected a ton of that yet. So I was actually really excited to get that. But Tolly stuff is good because if I don't have it, I'm getting kind of a rare pop that I need. And if I have it already, it's going to sell really easily because they're rare pops. People want the rare pops. Okay, let's start digging through here. Uh, okay, so this one is rare. It doesn't really sell for much. It's the Iron Patriot Wacky Wobbler. Limited to 480 pieces, but only goes for like 12 bucks. I have this already. I might just hold on to this as a long-term investment kind of thing. Just because I feel like at $12, it's undervalued. If that was a pop, it'd be like 100 bucks or more. It could be actually 480 there's some 480 piece pops that are like 500 dollars from the marvel line do i have any on the wall no i don't think i have any of mine on the wall right now but so although the iron patriot not as popular but it would probably be like a few hundred bucks of it was a pop okay next we have the original silver surfer that is cool definitely have this one already so that will be for sale uh this one will probably sell pretty easily it's got a little bit of value uh, okay, we have the French Bulldog from Pets. Pretty sure I have this one. Uh, a lot of the ones he got that were the Pets ones were the Japanese release. So basically what they did was it's the same exact as the American version. But for the Japanese market, they put this sticker on the bottom. And I think he got an opportunity to buy a bunch from someone who uh, imports them from Japan. So that's why I think he had a lot of these. So, But this will sell. People will definitely want The Pets are kind of hard to get. They're kind of rare. I'm actually shocked by how hard it is to find those. Okay, and then we have the Beagle from Tets. Again, it's the Japanese version. And then we have... Oh, this is cool. It's a Funko Shop exclusive rat thing, the gray one. I actually think I need this one. Yeah, this came out in the beginning of the year, in January. I need that one. That one's going into my collection. Very cool. Uh, okay, and then we have the FYE exclusive Dwight with the CPR mask. This one I think I actually need. So this is going into my collection. The office pops are really popular right now. Definitely a line people want. Uh, okay, and then we have one more in this bag. Oh, this is cool. I don't know if I have this one. I love Diablo. So we have from Diablo, we have Tyriel. That is really cool. I actually... Uh, I've never seen this Arthas. Have you guys seen the Arthas? I don't think I've seen that one. I need to get more of these Blizzard Pops, though. They're kind of rare. I have a few, but I think there's a few more I need. Okay, and then he had some loose stuff. Okay, we have a Sonic the Hedgehog figure. I think this one lost his leg, which is sad. And then we have... Not 100% sure who that's from. Maybe a Sonic character. Not sure. And then we have the Diva. She's loose. I actually might keep this one. Just because I love The Fifth Element, one of my all-time favorite movies. We have the Scream figure. That's cool. I actually might keep that one as well. <laughs> I was going to sell them. He said he has some loose ones, but these are cool. And then we have uh, from The Big Trouble in Little China, we had the main baddie. I forget his name. That one I might sell. And then we have Spock. That is very neat. Okay, those are cool. Seeing these reaction figures out of the package, they look fun. I kind of like them. I can just imagine them being lined up on display. Those are cool. Okay, and then we have one more, I think, Sonic figure. 
that I guess there are stands for them. Yeah. So these are all, no, nope, doesn't fit in there. I'll have to figure out how these go. So those are cool. Needs a little bit of work. So that was bag one. Okay, now we have a box full. Okay, we have Shadow with Chow. I actually have this one, but I think mine is a Hot Topic exclusive. This is the international version. So I might actually keep that as a sticker variant. I do like the sticker variants. Uh, okay, from Pitch Perfect, we have Fat Amy. This one's cool. Love that pop. Do have that one already. Okay, we have uh, Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. It's a flocked version. I think it's... It's exclusive in the U.S. I forget what shop, but this is the Japanese release of it. That's why it doesn't have the U.S. sticker on it. So I might end up keeping that. Not 100% sure, but very cool pop. Okay, next we have... Oh, we have Gerald from The Witcher. This one I'm pretty sure I have. I think I have the common, so that one will be for sale. He does have a little bit of value. I think all these pops kind of have a little bit of value. Uh, okay, we have Russell Wilson from the Seattle Seahawks. This one, uh, I don't really collect football stuff, so that one will be for sale. The only football pops I'm really interested in collecting are Deion Sanders because I was a huge fan of his back in the 90s. So I kind of want those, but other than that, nothing else really. Uh, okay, this is cool. We have Tigress from Kung Fu Panda. This one has the Asian sticker on it. I don't remember if mine has that. So this might be a sticker variant. I'll have to look into that one. Uh, okay, we have a Captain Jack Sparrow. Again, this has the Asian sticker, so I'm not 100% sure if... Uh, I might actually not even have the regular version of him. So that one got to double check. I think I'm going to end up keeping more of these than I thought I was. <laughs> okay, next we have the Halloween Stitch. This one is awesome. I Again, this is a sticker variant. I don't know if I have this version. I don't know if I have any version of them, actually. So that one actually might be keeping. Uh, okay, what do we have? Next we have the Draco Malfoy. It's a simple toys exclusive. I think here in the U.S. it's Hot Topic. So this is the Asian version. I do have this version. He traded one of these to me six months ago or so. So that one will be for sale. That's kind of cool though. That's a I like this sticker particularly because it just it's very colorful and it's different. Pretty awesome. Okay, let's we have okay, we have the Muff Talk. It's a 2017 ECC Comic Con exclusive from Star Wars. This one I do have, so that'll be for sale. Next we have oh we have Miko. Okay. This one, I actually have a couple different variants of him. They, like, changed his head sculpt. One's a little bit bigger than the other. So, But I do think I have this one. So that one... Actually, I think I know someone who wants that. So that one might not be for sale. Might be claimed already. Okay, next we have... Uh, ooh, the blue Eeyore. Okay, I don't remember if I have the blue one. I might actually need that. Again, it's the Asia exclusive, but that's cool. I actually don't mind. It's kind of cool to get the Japanese version of these. Just because it's a little bit rarer in the U.S. I kind of wish they did a different box, though, or uh, like a cooler sticker. It's kind of just a bottom sticker. But still, I think the Resident Evil Pops are the ones that they actually translated into Japanese. Those are cool. I would like to get those. Uh, okay, next we have the Diamond Tinkerbell. Okay, she is cute. I have her already, but I don't think I have her with the international sticker. So I might actually keep that. Okay, pretty neat. Okay, next we have the Uncle Sam. Uh, I don't remember. This one has an international sticker, but I think this was just a U.S. common. Not 100% sure on that one. That one I'm going to have to look up. Okay, and then we have a Megazord figure. I think this is one that you snap together. Not 100% sure on this one. Very cool. I might end up keeping this. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, yeah. It looks like it's untouched inside. This one I'm going to debate if I want to sell it or not, but that's pretty cool. Okay, and then we have, oh, we have some free comic book day comics. We have the Guardians of the Galaxy and the Secret Empire. Okay, those are cool. We have a Bin Toy Statue of Liberty thing. I'm not sure what that is. A little Marvel comic sticker or bookmark thing. Uh, ooh, a One Punch Man pin. That is cool. Oh, that is neat. It's like promotional for season two. Okay, that I'm excited for. Okay, and then another Sonic figure thing. And uh, another little Sonic figure thing. These are cool. I like those. Uh, okay, so this... Oh, inside here are two... No, not inside there. And I'm going to have to pull them out of here. So we have the shot glasses from the Christmas... 
think it was the Christmas Collector's Court box. So we have the Snowman, Captain America, and the Thanos and Sweater. Those are really neat. I don't have that box, so I'm going to keep those for now. And then this is really cool. It's the Batman Beyond Complete DVD Series set. Now, he bought it. He kept the pop. He's selling me the set really cheaply. I will probably... It looks actually like the DVD itself is sealed. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to sell it or not. I might actually just keep it just to watch it. Because that's pretty cool. But, you know, I kind of want the pop. So I kind of want a complete set. So I'm not 100% sure yet. I might actually just stick in my store for like 20 or 30 bucks. Not 100% sure. Okay, next we have uh, Rob Grinkowski from the Patriots. That one I'll be selling because, like I always say, I don't really collect the football stuff. Uh, oh, this is neat. It's a Toy Tokyo exclusive Count Chocula Dorbs ride. This one, I don't remember if I actually got. I might actually need that one. That one is really neat. Okay, next we have the Clayton and Carmine from Gears of War. This one I actually think went up in value recently. Neat pop. I do have that one already. Okay, next we have the Miguel from Coco. Pretty sure I have that one, so that one will be for sale. Uh, oh, this one's cool. I don't have this one. So we have the... I don't know if it's a Christmas color, but it's the green and red Charlie Brown. That one's going to my collection. It is the Japanese release of it, but that's okay. I'm really happy to have it. Okay, and then we have a Dosh Hound. This is a cool, and it's the U.S. version. Usually it trades in the Japanese versions. I think I have this one already, though, so this one will be for sale. Next, we have Lewis from, what is it, The Princess and the Frog. That is cool. I don't remember if I have this one. This one I actually might need. That one I'm going to double check. Okay, and then we have, uh, okay, we have the regular Gus Gus and Slipper from Cinderella. I'm always surprised that uh, I had one of these that I thought was a duplicate. I couldn't find it. I had it on my shelf for like six months. And then finally, I looked it up recently. I didn't realize these are going for like 20, 30 bucks. But cool, I do have that one already, so that'll be for sale. And then we have the original Tinkerbell. This one is neat, oh, but it has a Japanese sticker. I might actually end up keeping this one as a variant, just because I like Tinkerbell. I think she's cool. And uh, I forget, I think the blue label from the Disney store, the common ones, I think the original ones are red, and the red ones are usually worth a ton more. I'm going to have to look this one up just to double check, or it might be the other way around. I think it's the blue ones, though, are the more common ones. I always mix that up. Okay, and then finally we have... Oh, this is cool. We have BMO from Adventure Time. Love this one. Big fan of BMO. Big fan of Adventure Time. I think this one is actually going up in value because of the new series coming out. I'm actually looking forward to that. I think it's cool that they're doing a new series. I, uh, I love Adventure Time. I was kind of sad this series ended a couple years ago, but I'm super excited that they're coming back with new content. Very cool. So that's everything I got from Tolly. Very awesome. Thank you for selling me your pops, Tolly. I appreciate it. And it was just really nice to see someone in person again. I feel like I've been locked up for like three months. So that was pretty awesome. Okay, awesome. So if you're interested in buying any of the ones that I said I was going to sell, I'll be listing them on Macari. And if you don't see it listed or if you don't see it sold, you can always ask me because maybe I didn't list it yet. Not 100% sure. I'm going to have to juggle what I'm deciding, what goes in the store, what I put on Macari, what I save for my patrons, etc. It's going to be very complicated, crazy, but a ton of fun in the next month or so. Just trying to figure out how to work everything again. <laughs> I want to thank my patrons for supporting my channel. With their help, I'm able to do more videos like this more often. If you want to help support my channel as well, I'll put a link to Patreon right there. If this is the first time watching one of my mega epic Funko Pop hauls, why don't you click the over and subscribe? Why not? I'll make more videos like this just for you. And I'm going to put a couple other mega epic Funko Pop hauls right there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.